Alrighty, hello guys, I'll give me faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in hardcore career mode in Stormworks, and today we're going to be modifying the whole of this thing. Obviously, um, it doesn't look right, obviously. Um, so what we're going to do, instead of having the try hull thing that we've got right here, we're actually going to go ahead and design this thing into an actual normal hull, um, but still having this little bit at the back with nothing in it. I don't know whether that's like a good idea or a bad idea, but that's what we're going to do. So... Let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Let's do this. Okie dokie, so all of the interior bit needs to just sort of go away, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens after that, I guess. Uh, all of this needs to go, all of that needs to go, this, 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 and I don't know whether to delete most of this or not, but I kind of feel like we should. So, uh, I'm gonna. There you go. That's gonna get deleted all the way back there. And this is gonna get deleted all the way back there as well. And we're gonna have to sort it out from there. Don't know how this is gonna go. Alright, cool. So that actually works out for us, I do believe. Uh, what we'll do now is actually delete these guys as well. I know that might be weird, but that is what we're gonna do. Uh, we're then gonna go ahead and grab one of these guys. And we're gonna make it a lot longer. So, it's actually gonna come out quite far forwards, like so. Uh, I'm actually just going to go ahead and take this quite far back, to be honest, and that should be pretty awesome. We're going to bring it out another one. There we go. Uh, and honestly, from there, we should be able to bring it in. Um, and I guess it'll look nice, too. So if we do something like, let's say this, there we go. Delete that one, and the final bits will just be, I guess, this. There we go. So if we put those across there like that. Um, we can probably have the front being three wide. That is likely to be okay. Uh, and there we go. Yeah. All right, we can go with that. So, grab these guys. Let's go ahead and slap these on here. Make sure they're all looking lovely. That can go there. That can go there. We then need these guys on here as well. There we go. One, two. And then we need these guys. Go ahead and fix that in like so. Put these guys on. There we go. One and two. And fix all of that together. There we go. Brilliant. That works. All of that as well. There we go. Fantastic. And all of that too. All right. I think that looks a lot better. So, we're going to go with it. Um, right, next thing, we need one of these to go on here like this, and then we're going to drag that forwards just the same amount, to be honest. Uh, that's okay, there we go, good. We're then going to do these guys, um, and to be honest, I'm really not looking forward to, uh, the rest of it, if that makes sense. I'm not looking forward to doing the back bit, because I don't know how I want to do it, so, yeah, not looking forward to that. But anyway, uh, the bottom is going to be very flat, that's fine. I might have to move the engine. Um, but maybe not. Who knows? Um, what we might do actually is just delete most of this, obviously, because that's going to be inside of the boat. So that's fine. Delete most of this also, and then just attach it to here. There we go. So from there, we can attach it directly to this on this side. Go all the way in. Do all of that. There we go. Do all of this down to, I guess, the end. There we go. And send that to there. Fill in the whole front end and all of this too. There we go. Brilliant. Yeah. So, it's very flat, but I think that's okay. I think that will be okay. Uh, just as long as we fill in all of this as well. There we go, make sure it's full. And we need to sort out this back end too. This is actually our fuel tank, so we need to watch out for that. But, um, yeah, in fact, actually, this bit back here can go like that. That's fine. It can also go like this. And then, somehow, we'll just attach it straight to this. In fact, we should just be able to do this. There we go, we'll do that there. We'll do this right here. And we'll send it from there to there, just like this. There we go. So now we shouldn't sink or anything, uh, and that should be great. Um, what we will do is delete this guy, whack that in there, grab this, put it across here, and send it pretty much to the... I was going to say to the front, but probably to somewhere like this, where it can attach to there, and we can fill this in. Wait, there we go, good. Oh, it also means we can get rid of most of this too. There we go. This doesn't need to be here anymore. Neither does any of this. Uh, or actually, oh, that does. That needs to be there, but that's fine. There we go. Good. I'm happy with this. I'm very happy with this. Hopefully, uh, we've got no holes in it. I don't think we do. Um, everything seems good. Yeah. All right. Spawn it in. Let's see if it looks better now. And... All right. The back sinks a little bit, but honestly, that's fine. Yeah. This is cool. I just wanted it to be, like, relatively flat, if that makes sense. Um, the other thing that I might do, actually, is... Ex I'd like this further forwards, but we're not going to do that just yet. Um, my idea actually is just to raise this up uh, a good chunk. So we're going to do this one and two. There we go. We'll do two of those. And we'll do these guys as well. There's one and two. 
There we go. We need this guy on there too. One second. Turn it around, flip it around and stuff. And then this guy needs to go on there too. So one, oh, one and two. And then I think we can get away with doing this across the front. There we go. Might look a bit weird, but I'm okay with that. We're then going to do this down the sides. Yes. And honestly, I think that it looks a bit weird, but I think it works. Right. We're going to do the same colors that we always do around the sides. Uh, this bit right here is going to be our... Um, our line, there we go, we're going to do our line down the sides, all the way around the back end, and all the way into here as well, yes, do all of that, there we go, do, actually all of this can be painted too, so do that as well, and, yeah, okay, that's brilliant, now grab the red, if we can, here we go, red is grabbed, go ahead and jug the bottom side, so that it's all actually coloured in, that'd be brilliant, how has that happened, alright, whatever, don't care, alright, we can go ahead and paint that afterwards, that's fine, do that, do this, do this, there we go. Do every bit on the interior of that bit, if we can. Fantastic. Even the underside of this, yes, indeed. All of that, all of the bottom, all of the side. Paint that little bit right there, and that. Right here, and this, and this, and also this. Way, nice. All right, paint that bit too. I think I might actually jug this bit this color instead. Yeah, I think that looks better. And then do the rest of these. So grab the red. Grab the red color, jug it, jug it, jug it, jug it. There we go. And then, finally, little line across the front. There we go. All right. It might look weird, but I think I like it. Oh. Oh, no. I don't want the inside looking like this. All right. Paint all of that back in. There we go. Brilliant. Uh, do that bit, too. Do this and this. And, honestly, the other thing that I wanted to do was the inside of the windows. Uh, kind of like this. There we go. So, even if it's just those ones uh, and not these ones, I think I'd be fine with that. Um, so, yeah. I think I'm going to leave it like that. Good. So, if we spawn this in, and we actually try and move it, does it move? Is my first question. Ready? It struggles. That's not very good. My modular engine doesn't seem very good. That's really annoying. Um, what can I do to improve that, maybe? I don't know whether making the engine bigger, or even just adding two more engines would be better. I could increase the size of this, couldn't I? Alright, let's uh, get rid of this. Uh, these. There we go. Cut them. Move them this way and paste them somewhere over here. That's fine. Merge that in with that. Brilliant. We're then going to grab the whole front end of this. So that's this and this. Go ahead and cut it. Move it forwards to here. There we go. And then all we need to do is legitimately just grab these, send it. There we go. Grab these and send it. We've pretty much doubled the size of our engine now. I know that might sound scary, but uh, it should work. So if we merge this with this, there we go. We've got a huge engine now. That's awesome. Uh, our exhaust is working. Everything's good. Yeah. All right. Spawn this in. We should go double speed now. Let's go. Open the door. Get inside. Let's uh, do this. This. Not really. That's still slow. That's still really, really slow. What I'm going to do is actually turn this down to 1 to 1. Now we're going to go. I know I'm losing fuel every time I do this, but it's worth the try. So let's do it. There we go. Turn this on. Do this. Oh, that's not good. I feel like we need more propellers, to be honest. I feel like it's, it's, pow it's too powerful now. So if we delete these guys, then we add some extra propellers. Here we go. So, just like this, I guess. Yeah, there we go. We'll have, we'll have those. Brilliant. Uh, if we can fix those together, that'd be awesome. Let's go ahead and put that in there. And paint this. There we go. And paint all of this. Fantastic. So, we just needed to go into each of those. So, we need another one of these to go like this. And then we just need one of these to go into both of those. And that should make it faster. Awesome. Still don't know about the idea of having it there, but there you go. I think it's fine. Alright, so this is going to be it for our ship right there. We're going to do this around the top end, and we're also going to actually do this down the sides. There we go, fantastic. We're going to do this right here as well, and these guys, there we go, and I think we'll do that across there too. There we go, fantastic. So, some paintable signs in here would be great, but for now we're just going to do this, and honestly I think that looks fine. I think it'll work out, uh, so we'll leave it pretty much as is. Now what I want to do is get some rope anchors and whack them on here pretty much everywhere, so... Um, yeah, we're going to add those to there, and we're going to continue adding them around the sides, and hopefully that'll be okay. So one's going to go there, one's going to go here, and one's going to go here, 
And I would like to do one further forwards, but for now, this is okay. There we go. Painted all of them. Excellent. Um, I might do some at the front, like in the ground, just in case we need them, like inside of our boat, if that makes sense. Uh, we'll actually add those there, and we'll also add them here as well. There we go. I think that's fantastic. Good. Uh, we also need one on the front, just in case we need to get pulled, ever, because we probably will, knowing my luck. Uh, that'd be great. I can't move it forwards or backwards. Oh, yikes. Okay, delete that and that. We can actually put this here like this, and that's actually fine to be open, I do believe. So there we go. We're going to do it like that. Pretty weird, but I guess it works. Nice. All right, so let's go ahead and add some other stuff like a bed. We obviously need a bed. That would be awesome. So the bed itself is actually going to go on this wall. I know that's not really where you want a bed, but that's fine. We're then going to go ahead and attach these guys to the wall right here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We then need some seats, which are going to be these guys. And this is how we're going to transport people around. There we go, some seats. That's brilliant. Underneath each of the seats, we're actually going to have some equipment. Q-U-I-P-T. There we go. Uh, we're going to go with the fire extinguisher. Obviously, that's super important. So we're actually going to have that on the outside. There we go. We're just going to slap it on there like that. That's good. Uh, what else do we need? Welders. They're very important. Um, I'm only going to do it on one side. That's fine. So this is going to go actually in the wall. I think that's fine. Doing things in the wall is okay. There we go. Good. Uh, in this side, we'll do the um, underwater welding torch. There we go. Fantastic. We're going to continue down the wall, uh, and this is how we're going to do it. So, um, first aid kits, one, two, and three. There we go. On this side, defibrillator. Uh, if I can find it, where is it? Does anyone see a defibrillator? There it is. Defibrillator is going to go right there. Awesome. Maybe, actually, it should be switched around. So, delete this one. Put the defibrillator up there. And then the underwater welding torch will go here. Because that makes more sense, right? There we go. Fantastic. So we got first aid kits, we've got a defibrillator, we've got a welder, we've got another welder, we've got a fire extinguisher outside. We're going to add these guys underneath here now, so one, two, three, and one, two, three, that's good. We're going to add a hose right there, hose is kind of important. We're going to add a cable right here, just in case we need one. And then on the other side, we're going to delete all of this, and have ropes everywhere. Yeah, hang on, where are they? Rope, alright, excellent, one and two, fantastic. So now we've got pretty much all of the equipment that we need. That's fantastic. We need some lights on the top so that we can actually see what's going on. Uh, in fact, we're going to bring them back to about here. That's all good. Um, and then actually, a light on the back would be great too. So we're going to add one there. Okay, fantastic. Anything else that really needs adding? Uh, a winch is probably a really good thing to add. So I'm going to delete these like this. I'm going to put that in there like that. Uh, I'm going to paint this crust up. Paint all the inside of this like so. And, yeah, I guess I guess that's fine. Sure. Um, so if we need rope, it's on the inside. That's okay. We're good. Yeah. All right, what else do we need to do? So we got the winch. We need the winch controls. Let's delete this and this. Get ourselves some buttons and smack them in. And that'll be great. So one there and one there. Obviously, it needs to be painted white on the sides. There we go and there we go. And this is going to be in. And this is going to be out. There we go. Fantastic. So... If we can attach this to um, up and this to down, that works. There we go. Good. Uh, electricity. They need that too. There we go. You've got it. You've got it. You've got it. You've got it. We're going to then attach this guy to like all of these. There we go. I think that's fine. All of these guys. And even these guys on the roof. There we go. So now we've got some actual lights on the roof. We've got a winch on the back. We might need a winch on the front. I'm not sure. Uh, eventually a crane to lift stuff into here would be brilliant. But we don't have that just yet. Because we don't have any pivots. We're also going to do this. Uh, just as something that looks nice, I guess. There we go. We'll connect these guys together as well. And send it forwards. There we go. Brilliant. Brilliant day. There we go. Good. We're also going to attach these guys together here. Alright, that's fine. So, we, we've built it in so that it looks nice. I think we've got everything that we sort of need. I need something that is... Or that allows us to actually refuel ourselves. That would be brilliant too. Um... And also some catalytic converters might be great as well. So if we go into... I'm going to delete the bed for right now. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. All right. One, two, three. And one, two, three. I think we need four, actually. These are really expensive, though. But yeah. Uh, bed. Go ahead and smash that back in on the wall. There we go. Awesome. Uh, and I think that works. Some deck lights, some interior lights, and stuff like that would now be brilliant. 
Uh, and then we can go from there. I also want some dials, actually. I need to know the RPS of the engines. So, we'll actually put that off to the side. One, two, and three. Um, one, two, and... Ah, we only need two, don't we? There we go. We only need two. So, put that there, put it there. This is RPS left engine. There we go. And then RPS right engine. There we go. Fantastic. So this is going to go to the left one. That's going to go to the right one. Let's go. So left engine. Oh, no, wait. We've only got one engine. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? I thought I had two for some reason. Let's go ahead and whack that in there like that. This is going to be RPS. Oh, just engine. En engine RPS. There we go. And we'll say uh, 200. 200. There's no way it'll get to 200. Ah, maybe. All right, cool. So there we go. This will go down to here, so we know the RPS of the engine. All of that's fine. Battery's fine. Everything's connected to the electricity. The lights on the top, let's go ahead and connect those up to the seat, I guess. So one is going to be for our lights. There we go. Um, one. Lights. There we go. Fantastic. We still need nav lights. We still need, like, interior lights, and we still need deck lights. So, um, yeah, we need to do that. All right, here we go. Where are they? Light. Let's do this. So this light right here, we're just going to have like two on the inside. One's going to go just above the driver uh, right about here. That's fine. Hopefully it can go in. Yes, it can. And then we're going to have one for the back just in front of the bed, if possible. There we go. They're right next to each other, but I think that's okay. In fact, actually, undo those. We're going to put the bed one in first, and then we're going to put this one. Having a light directly in front of the driver is actually a really bad thing, unless it's really dark. So we'll do that. We'll make it real dark. No, not like that. Uh, like this. There we go. Fantastic. This one at the back, though, can be pretty light. So we're going to do that. And then deck lights. I don't want many. So we'll just actually... We'll have some... Throw it around on the side. So get this. Put it in white. Have it there. There we go. Good. And then I think I'll just have one in the middle of the deck at the front. Just here. Okay. I think that's good enough for us. Uh, the lights themselves are all going to be cream. So that one and this one. And then we're going to paint these in so that they fit. So grab this color. Do that. Do this here. There we go. Fantastic. And honestly, that should be fine. I'm just going to attach those to these lights because I think that's okay. There we go. So all of the lights will actually come on at once. That's probably okay. All right, good. Uh, can we do a mission with this boat now is my question. I think so. Let's spawn it in, figure out where our nearest mission is to do, and we'll go do it. Oh, it's, it's pretty heavy. Pretty heavy. The back end goes underneath the water quite a bit, but I'm sure it's fine. Uh, right, let's go to sleep until we get a mission that we can do, and then let's go do it. Alright, we got a mission. Let's do it! So a river barge requires servicing. We're going to go ahead and service it. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, my thingies are the wrong way around. That's okay. So our RPS on our engine needs to be around 10. There we go. It's probably about right. Good. Okay, so we're going very slowly. That's annoying. Uh, right, so where are we actually going to? Here. So we have to go around the top. Oh, that's actually quite far away. Hmm. Oh, you know what? There's more things I need to add anyway. So let's go ahead and add a speedo. That is actually quite important. So we'll add a speedo. Um, speed sensor. Here we go. Linear speed sensor. We're going to go ahead and smack this into the inside. That's probably fine. And we'll whack that there. Good. Attach this up to the speedo. That's fine. So the problem that I also have, let's make this like max 100 and labeled speed. There we go. Uh, the problem that I have is that the engine's too powerful uh, for this. Uh, because we have two, two propellers, we should probably have more. But whatever. Like, let's, see, let's see what this does. So we're going to get in. What's our RPS of our engine? It's like nine. Okay, that's pretty much where we want it. Okay, and then how much fuel are we using? Like none. I'd imagine that's like none. Okay, right. So, now that we've done that then, I'm actually going to go ahead and go to sleep. And we're going to try and get an engine that a, a mission that's even closer than that one. Because it's still quite far away. So, we're, yeah. We're just going to wait and do our missions uh, that are near us.
Okay, we've got one here that is uh, 10 kilometers away, which of course is further away than this one, but we do have to go around the island to get to that one, and then around the island to get back to that one. Um, so what we want to do is drive straight down here, go all the way around, and then into there. Is that something that I should do? Uh, who knows? I, I genuinely don't know. Because um, I don't think we're using that much fuel, I just think it's taking some time. Alright, let's just do it. Let's just do it. We're gonna we're gonna drive all the way out there and see what we can do. Our RPS stays at around ten, around nine. Um, so I don't think we'll run out of fuel, but uh, I guess this is a good test. So uh, let's do it. I don't want to be that guy that goes back every time something happens, but yeah, we're gonna actually return back to our base. Uh, these lights in the roof don't actually have any electricity, so I wanted to fix that. And also, I mean, this ship itself—it's just too shallow, so. We're gonna we're gonna try and modify that in terms of uh, lowering the deck down a little bit. I think it'll make it look better. I think it'll make it work better, and uh, that's what I want to do. So that is what we are gonna do. Um, so yeah, we're gonna modify this boat to look a lot better. Okie dokie. Yeah. So there's no point in actually just trying to keep it like this just because this is the way that it is. If that makes sense. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and delete most of the floor, and we're gonna lower it down, and uh, hopefully that works. So delete all of that. There we go, continuously deleting all of this. We're not going to delete it all the way to the back, because it doesn't need that. But uh, pretty much all of this is going to go. Uh, in fact, actually, that's probably going to go too. Uh, as well as all of this, and most of that. There we go. So, we're going to lower this down. Um, somehow, I guess. So we're going to use these. We're going to continuously uh, continue to use these. Um, we're going to paint everything in white, so that the inside looks alright, and continues to. Uh, that's okay, very good. We're then going to continue this as we go. Oh, I need to raise the entire ship up in order to do this, but that's fine. So we're going to continue. There we go. And that seems pretty good. Yep. We're going to attach this guy onto there, and that's fine. We're going to do these down the edges, because clearly it needs to. There we go. And, oh, it's going to look so much better, actually. It's going to be so much better. I think the shape of what I did before is actually... Uh, it's pointless. We're going to get rid of all of this. Uh, and we're going to build it like a normal ship instead. Because what in the world? What was I even planning? Alright, delete all of that. Delete this. And yeah. Um, this engine itself, realistically, should be moved. Um, so I might have to do that. But that's okay. So delete this guy. Delete all of the interior of this real quick. Here we go. Uh, delete all of that. We're going to modify the fuel tank too, obviously. Um, but that's okay. So hopefully this won't be... Hopefully it won't take too long to do all of this. I don't think it will. Um, there you go. Delete all of this all the way to the end. There we go. Fantastic. Delete all of these guys and all of these guys too. Way. And that bit. And this bit. There we go. Okay, right. Cool. So, um, I think we can make this a hell of a lot better by doing what we're doing right now. And I think it is actually already starting to look better. So, let's jug all of these in the right colors real quick. Here we go. Jug, jug. Jug, yes. Uh, that bit needs needs making, but that's okay. Um, and yeah, I kind of feel like having a flat front like this is hindering our fuel efficiency. But maybe it's not. Who knows? There we go. Jug that in. Yeah, all right. Awesome. That works. So I kind of want to build up from here, but I don't know how that's going to work. Uh, I'm also thinking all of this needs destroying too, including that bit. And these bits. And pretty much actually all of that. There we go. All of this down to here. And then I think we can build in the floor from here. Pretty much. All the way to the front. And jug that bit in. Do the... Oh, no. Do this down the back end. There we go. And honestly, I think that's fine. Yeah. So now we're going to do this across here. We're going to do this across here. And we're going to do this as well. Here we go. Yeah. One and... Do, 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 do. Two. There we go. So do we leave it so that it is sort of in the air, or do we fix it? I don't know. I don't know how I want this to look on the back end. I'm never very good with doing the back ends. So let's go with this for now. Um, that right there. There we go. And honestly, I think I can leave it somewhat like this. I feel like I can leave it somewhat like that. So we fill that in. Uh, we fill all of this in. Like that. And then we just do these pieces. Um, just like... Like this, essentially. Uh, across the back end. There we go. And across the back end. And then we should be able to fit all of this together. So from there, all the way across to here. And... Yeah. I mean, it's a bit weird. It's not quite right. But I think so. 
Actually, idea. We can make the back end more fit to this shape rather than the other way around. So let's do this all the way to the other end. Cut it. Move it backwards to about there. Paste it in. Make all of these fit to it. So like that and like that. There we go. And then fill in the floor just like, like so. Merge this with this. And then we're going to delete the back end in order to fit that. So, yeah, this might be weird, but here we go. So delete that. Delete that. And delete most of this. There you go. And then we can actually go with the shape of this thing in order to actually finish off the boat. Yes. Okay, right. Fine. I think that's okay. So we grab this from here. And we actually send it up the side. All the way to the tippity top. That's good. We can then actually just paint this in on the sides like so. And then I think what we can do is delete this right here, delete that right there, and seal it up somehow. So grab, where are they? Grab this, there you go. Uh, make it this color actually, that's fine. There we go, now grab it again. There we go, and do this down to there. And this up to here. And now all we need to do is fix this on the rear, just like so. There we go, so that'll go across there. This'll go across here. And then finally, we just need to attach these guys. Which are going to be white for now. There we go. That's going to go there. This is going to go here and here. We're going to attach that onto there. Fill that in. And there we go. Alright, what does everybody think of this? I think it's better. I think it's better. Or is it? I don't know. Maybe. Sure. Uh, right, okay. So now, I need to grab the engine itself and these batteries and actually lower them down to the floor. Uh, which would be better. So cut this. Move it downwards. Yes. Paste it in. Actually, we're going to push these all the way forward. We're going to push them to the front of the boat. There we go. Paste that in there. Merge this down. That's good. We now need the actual engine itself. So this backwards to here and up to there and down to here. We can then cut it. Move it down to the floor. There we go. And honestly, I think the engine itself can actually be quite far forwards. So we're going to paste it right there. If we can merge that in, that's great. Good. Um, that's still going to be there, so the air supply needs to go into this one, the exhaust needs to go out of these ones, and this is actually for the fuel, but this can be moved. There we go, so let's put the air supply in first, and the exhaust in, and then we'll make a fuel tank. In fact, actually, delete this and this, there we go. So, that's all good. This needs to go to some propellers on the back, that's all fine. We'll delete pretty much actually all of this, there we go, good, and, ah, this is, this will work, I think. Alright, good. I'm going to go ahead and put in these pipes, and then I'll be back with you guys in a second. You know, actually, now that we've done this, uh, I kind of feel like um, we've actually made enough room for an actual room downstairs. Not that I want one. I don't think there's any point in me having one. But uh, we've actually made enough room for an actual room. I don't know how much sense that makes, but yes. Um, so, now what I need to do is actually add fuel into this. So... We're going to go ahead and make a fuel tank pretty much around the bottom of the entire thing. So, fluid port is going to go on straight away. Here we go. So, this will go here. Then on both sides, we're going to build in, like, a thing. So, this is going to go across here like this. We're going to attach it in on the bottom. Uh, we're going to do it across here. We're going to have some pipes go straight through this. Uh, this might be an interesting thing to do, but here we go. Um, pipe, here we go. Yes. So, we're going to go with some straight pipes from here. Uh, all the way backwards to about there. Then this tank itself can align along this. So there you go. And the fuel can be... Oh, these pipes will pass through the fuel tank, if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. Um, we're then going to do this across the top there. That's okay. And we're going to box this off to the side. Uh, yes. All the way across to there. We're going to build this in across here. And then we're going to fill that in like so. All right, good. Yeah, I think that's fine. Um... I don't want it to go all the way to the back, to be honest. I want it to actually be pretty far forward. So we're going to go ahead and fix that in there as well. Um, we're going to do this, this, and this. There you go. Delete those again. That's fine. Uh, and we're going to make sure that that's filled in. Yes, fuel tank around the bottom. And then fuel tank actually is going to come further forwards than you'd expect. All the way across here. And filling all that in. Hey, there we go. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, fix this in here. In fact, actually, we might be able to just... Move this, cut it, flip it on its side, and move it downwards, paste it there. Can I merge this in? Yeah, all right, cool. I think that'll make our fuel tank sealed. That's brilliant. So, now what I want to do is delete these two. We're going to get a meter, 
fluid meter and a fluid spawner. And hopefully that'll be fine. So on there, we're going to do one on the other side. There we go. And that's going to be our fuel tank, I think. Yeah. Okay, right, cool. So we, we no longer need... I'm going to get rid of that. And we're going to put this here. This is just going to be fuel tank. So fuel. And this is going to be engine RPS. There we go. All right, good. So connect this engine RPS down to the actual engine. Connect the fuel to the fuel meter. There we go. Good. And that's it. That's all we need. Now it should be good to go. I don't know how bo like level it's going to be when it moves, but it should be pretty good. We don't have the winch anymore, but I don't know if we need it. Um, things, I don't even know if it'll float, but we'll see. We're going to go ahead and paint that across there. We're going to delete this on both sides. We're going to grab one of these and put it in there like that. We're going to go ahead and paint that in. And there we go. All right. Let's see. Let's see what this does. All right. So it's floating. That's definitely a good sign. Oh, I don't have any propellers yet. <laughs> don't actually have any propellers on this thing. So uh, a gearbox would be great. Why is there two pipes coming out of this? Oh, because it was going to go into two propellers. I see. So... I've built it sort of wrong in this respect, but that's fine. Uh, if we can, go underneath and delete that. There we go. Fantastic. That works. Going to go ahead and grab one of these and put it on there. Delete that. Get ourselves a propeller. And whack it in here. And honestly, that's probably fine. I don't know if it is, but we'll see. We're then going to do this. All right. Fantastic. So we got propellers. We got a gearbox. We got everything that we need. And... Uh, I think we're good to go. Two to one. Let's see. Let's see what happens anyway. Jump in. Go. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't have any thingies. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna lower this down. And we're gonna go ahead and add some rudders too. We don't have any rudders. So I can't actually turn right now. So that would be bad. Anyway, let's attach this under here. Go ahead and just slap these on whatever way around we need. Probably that way around. There we go. And attach it on to A and D. And let's see if this works. Look, X. No. A and D, please. A and D. There we go. One there. One there. Fantastic. Let's do this. How much fuel have I actually lost? Probably like... I've lost like 2,000 fuel by spawning it in and, and turning it off. That's not good. They need electricity. I'm, I've, I've just despawned it again. Um, right, okay. Touch this up to there. Touch that down to there. I kind of feel like another engine would actually be brilliant. Uh, and having two engines would be fantastic. But I don't know whether I should. You know what I mean? I don't know whether I should. So, uh, maybe. Maybe I should. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe, 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 maybe. I feel like it would be a good idea to do two. But where would it go? Can I can I actually just put this engine next to this engine and then have three? Whoa, would three engines be weird? Probably. All right, spawn it in. Let's let's see what kind of speeds we get. And we're just gonna go for it. Do my rudders work? I just got out of my seat. Uh, rudders do work, and they're wrong. But whatever, that's fine. Um, we need electricity for the lights too. I've spawned it in and despawned it so many times. I've lost so much fuel. But I, I am okay with it because we do actually have spare fuel now. So that's just lucky. But yeah. Um, right. Faster would be better. Faster would definitely be better. How do we go about doing that? Can I attach all of these together? Or is that a weird idea? That could go there. That could go there. We can delete we can delete this and that and attach one of these onto here like this. And then we could just attach them onto there like that. And then we've got three propellers at the back instead of just two. Is that better or worse? Who knows? Um we're gonna get rid of this and go one to one. Go. Alright, this is it. This is it. So 
So our engine RPS is currently 20. I'm going slower than I was going before. Ridiculous. Alright, so I guess it's worth saying, I, I don't know what's happened to me. I don't know why I can no longer build boats that are actually, like, decent. Like, because this isn't. This is, this is no good. I feel like a two-engine boat would have been better. Uh, obviously, we've went with one big-ish engine. Uh, we do have 5,000 fuel, though, and it's not really using all that much fuel uh, in order to move. So, we're just going to go with this. However, it is slow. It is still slow. I have five propellers, by the way, just saying. Um, I need to unlock the bigger propellers as soon as, but um, we've only got three points, and we actually need we need eight to unlock the bigger propellers. Um, but yeah, I guess it's going to stay like this for now. I think that's fine. Anyway, uh, we got ten kilometers to go. That's really far away. Are we going to be able to do it? Who knows? I don't know. Guys, my boat's on fire! My boat's on fire and I can't get to the actual engine because I didn't put a hole for it! Yeah! Wait, is it gone out? Is it automatically put itself out? It's very broken. Okay. Um... <laughs> That's so annoying! That's so annoying! Um... Ah... Uh, yeah. So we're actually stuck, like, here? Yeah, that's not amazing. That that is that's not amazing. Um, what do we do? What do we do? We got a gas station right there. I do have, I have a truck that might be able to come rescue it. I might have to rescue my own boat from there. Can I drag it up this hill? I don't know. Why have I done this to myself again? Why like why do I always do this to myself? I I I seem to rush. Like I feel like I'm not getting anywhere in these videos, and then I'm like, oh, I should rush. And then when I do rush, I, I just skip things. Like, being able to get to the engine to put it out, or a temp sen- Like, yeah, temperature sensor. Uh, dial. I, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. So, um... Yeah. That's good, isn't it? That's brilliant. Um... Yikes. Okay, right, well, instead of going on for, like, ages in this video, what I'm gonna do is end this one here. In the next video, we're actually going to be dragging this boat out of the water. We're going to drag it up this hill and drag it all the way to this gas station. And hopefully that'll be fine. So, um, yeah. Be tuned for that. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching this video. I'm going to design a new boat. Uh, when I say a new boat, we're going to redesign this one and have two engines instead of one. Um, to make it a little bit better. But anyway, for now, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.